Ridley, and you're tuned in to Madden 18 on EA Sports. Here we've got a couple of big targets who will try to be key contributors in both the pass and run games today. It's the Dolphins going up against the Panthers. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Just a moment ago, the lights, the cameras, the action, all the pyrotechnics, everything was ablaze, everything was allowed here in Bank of America Stadium as Carolina emerged from their tunnel. And we are ready to go as the Panthers get set to match up with the Miami Dolphins. Hello again, everybody. I'm Brandon Gaughan here in the booth with, as always, Charles Davis. Charles, a lot of times in the open, we focus on quarterbacks, running backs. What about the tight ends in this one? Well, I think LR identified it really well because the tight ends are matchup nightmares nowadays. Who are you going to cover them with? Because really, they are pumped up wide receivers who can flat out run and use their body to create bigger plays. Cover them with a linebacker, cover them with a defensive back. Either way, they feel like they have the advantage. This is fielded a couple yards deep. <laughs> And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Cam Newton will bring out the Carolina Panthers. Got a big NFC South win over Atlanta this past week in 20 to 17. Mainly the ground game, though. Cam was 13 to 24, Charles, throwing the football. Yeah, just for 137 yards. And remember what he said in preseason when they asked if he was going to run the ball less? He said, you expect the lion not to roar? <laughs> he had 86 yards on the ground with a rushing touchdown. And when he's running it like that, the Panthers are dangerous. And a couple of those runs, he put his shoulder up in there. He's not just sliding all the time. He's not a little man. No. They'll run. This is Jonathan Stewart. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Offensively, here's how Carolina will line it up. And we mentioned earlier Cam Newton ran the ball very well. Really, Carolina ran the ball pretty well in that win last week. Yeah, they overcame the first quarter fumbles by Jonathan Stewart. He had two, but they got Christian McCaffrey going on the ground in this game. 66 yards, over four yards a carry. So when you can get that happening with him, as well as him catching the ball downfield, look out. And they have to get a new identity with Kelvin Benjamin being traded to Buffalo. More speed. I expect to see more of Curtis Samuel in the upcoming weeks. On second down, here's Newton. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Back to throw, Newton. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything. And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Good luck trying to get your running game going against Indomitian Sue. I mean, he is so strong. Just trying to move him, take one guy, two guys, whatever. I wish you a whole lot of luck. He usually converts an offensive running game into rubble.
To throw on second down is Newton. And his throw here is incomplete. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. A shotgun snap for Newton. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. They go back to Stewart on first. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Here's Newton now on second down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the one he was looking for. And it'll bring up third down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. From the gun, here's Newton. And he gets it to Funches complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the five yard line. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. Yeah, I was, was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. And this seemingly endless drive continues. Newton. And this is incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the intended target. And now it's second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Still second down. And now for the offense, this is play number 11 here on this drive. Right, 
And now it's second and goal. Following the penalty, here's Stewart. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Can this defense get the stop on the opening drive? Here's third and goal. Newton to throw. And that is incomplete. But they took the shot, didn't get it, and there's definitely a difference here because they had a chance to get seven, maybe eight if they pushed it. Instead, they'll likely settle for three. Yeah, opening drive, holding him to three, psychologically, maybe a win for the defense. So now off goes Newton, and on comes the kicker, Graham Gano. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Gano's kick is right through. And the Panthers stake claim to a 3-0 lead. So they get the field goal, but part of that was a 14-play drive to get the three. Normally, when you hold the ball that long, run that many plays, you end up in the end zone. There's a breakdown on the defense. Something happens. In this case, that didn't. But really good ball controlled by the offense. They're hoping that they can wear them down if they keep having drives like that. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Miami Dolphins maybe a little upset after that loss last week, 27-24 to Oakland. Jay Cutler brings them onto the field, and now they sit at 4-4. Four and four. That could be a big game, a loss that maybe they regret later. Big time, because if they win the game, they take over second place in the AFC East because I still say they don't catch New England, but they put themselves in that wild card position to try and make the playoffs for the second year in a row. Jay Cutler had a pretty nice game throwing the football, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, he was over, what, 300 yards first time as a Dolphin that he did that. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And here now a look at the Dolphins' offensive unit. In my humble opinion, Jarvis Landry has everything you want in a wide receiver. Hand, vision, footwork, good route runner, goes up and gets the football. And when people question his speed or so-called lack thereof, you know how he answers it? Try and tackle me after I catch it. He turns into a running back once he has the ball in his hands. Second down, here's Cutler. Oh, look at Thomas, wide open. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. 23 yards on the play. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. They give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. And the starting defense here for the Panthers. Starlo Tulele provides a big time hulking presence in the middle of the defense takes on centers, guards, sometimes tackles, can move up and down the line of scrimmage, creating a big pile of bodies that allows teammates to make a lot of tackles. And worth noting, he's on our all-name team, isn't he? No doubt about it. And they're six yards away from picking up the first here on second down. Again, it's Williams. 
No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time penetration, and throw people for losses. And the Panthers bring in their nickel set as they try to defend here on third down. Five defensive backs. All right, here we go. Three, ah! Play action. It's Cutler. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Mario Addison with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. Look, Carolina had a number of issues last year, and that's why they slumped to 6-10 and 10 after a Super Bowl appearance. The pass rush wasn't a problem for them. They still got to the quarterback. 47 total sacks. That was just one behind Arizona, who led the league. Yeah, I think the biggest issue for them, young corners that gave up a lot of big plays. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. Back deep is Kalen Clay. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. First down throw for Newton. And Dixon over the middle. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. Looking to throw on second down. Newton. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And he'll be taken down just shy of the 40. A really nice gain of 25 yards. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. carry that time and they're set up with a second and one well they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight so far it's working i like what we're seeing from the offensive line they seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and re-establishing the line of scrimmage moving that defensive front backwards but also like what the runner's giving us too it appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off Second down following the run. Now it's Newton here off the bootleg. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Andre Branch. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. 
Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. Newton now to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Carolina. Brenton Burson, 61 yards. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing but correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. Five plays there on that drive. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. Gano out to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Miami gets ready to go again on offense. And so far this year, through nine weeks, Charles, they have 13 touchdowns as a team. 12 in the pass game, one defensively, no rushing touchdown. Hard to believe. And now that Jay Ajayi has gone to Philadelphia, they're going to have to do it by committee, right? Kenyon Drake, Damian Williams. Drake did have 69 yards in the game against Oakland. Williams just 14 yards on seven carries. Drake did put it on the turf once. And did you notice who was there to pick him up and, was and talk to him and counsel him? Quarterback Jay Cutler giving him some veteran wisdom. They begin the drive with Williams. Even with that broken tackle, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. But winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game. But when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. Now Cutler on the left side. This is Stills. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game.
They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Luke Keekley combines speed, intelligence, toughness, puts it all together. It makes plays like one we just saw there. He may not be a big-time blitzer, but, boy, he knows how to pursue straight ahead and make plays in the run game. And the offense behind the chains here a touch on second and 11. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter begins with the Dolphins in possession of the football. And they've got it here with a first down. It's Williams. And some space here. And he's going to take it down to about the 35 here. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. The tight end, Julius Thomas, the intended target, and it's third and short. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. to the line of scrimmage. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Charles Johnson's stock in trade is coming off the edge and getting to the quarterback. He knows how to make some of those subtle moves inside to help in the run game, and he did it right there. He's an athlete back in high school, played football, basketball, track, so he's a mobile guy. Mobile guy made a nice play against the run. Now Cody Parkey out to try the field goal. This from 54 yards away. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Cam Newton getting ready to go again on offense. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. Newton on first down. Over the middle, 
and it's incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Ten yards still left on second down. Draw play, Newton to Stewart, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is Not a just a big, big man, big, a huge boy. man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, yeah, that's for sure. And you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> and he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that's going to make it fourth down. A short gain that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Now a man who subbed in for Andy Lee down the stretch last year, Michael Pilardi, to kick it away. Jakeem Grant back deep for Miami. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, a closer. Yeah, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe the Dolphin got going a little early. on the pickup and it's a second down now that was an excellent run and when you see that happen that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more offensive linemen and tight ends they're expected to block but the wide receivers all they want to do is catch passes so when they block on a big time running play and create extra space you've got to hit the jackpot there Play fake. Here's Cutler. Blitz coming and down he goes. Charles Johnson in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Dolphins on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Let's go! Green 39! Green 39! Out of the gun, it's Cutler. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. K 
Kwan Short. He's the one to get him this time. And back-to-back -back sacks are going to bring up a fourth down. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. <laughs> so possession goes over here on the punt, and the Panthers will take over now first and ten. Getting set to go again here. Cam Newton marches back onto the field. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Playing well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. On first down, Newton. And this will complete right side to Funches. And that time he's smothered as he's wrestled down at the 33. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen. And they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. Second down, they run with Stewart. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll make it third and 13. They tried to run the counter, just that the defense wasn't fooled. And when they're not fooled, you see the end result because what you're doing there, you mentioned the counter. You're using your offensive linemen sometimes to pull or move to influence the defensive front to go in that direction and create the space back in the other side and block it appropriately. But you're exactly right. Didn't move him, sat there waiting for him and made the play. Third and long, it's Newton. Completes it to Dixon. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. Give him 30 yards there. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that will drive a team towards a victory. Newton turns and hands to Stewart. And that is what you call a hit stick. Put down to the ground hard. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. carry for Jonathan Stewart and he'll be brought down at the 27 yard line it's an eight yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs at this stage of the game the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air but in a sense that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance they pick up another first down with that run
Newton gets off to Stewart. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. When I see Cameron Wake make plays like that, I can't help but shake my head sometimes. He had to go to Canada first before he came back to the NFL, where he's now an all-pro. Yeah, undrafted out of Penn State, but look at him now. And just think about all the pass rushing moves he has, his ability to play against the run. Remember, he was a combo outside linebacker, defensive end. Now he's just simply one of the best in the NFL. Now a handoff. This is Stewart. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It'll be a loss of one, and they'll be facing a third and 12. Brandon, there's no doubt the defense has to be excited after stacking up back-to-back -back running plays. But I still remember my old coaches saying, after you've had some success, you better be careful. They might have an answer for you. So make sure you watch your keys, play your techniques, and don't get overconfident. The last two plays each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. Out of the gun, Newton. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. So now off goes Newton, and on comes the kicker, Graham Gano. Made his first, this now from 46 yards away. And this one is no good. He missed it, and this score will stay right where it is. Jarvis Landry and company heading back onto the field now. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times, just like the ticking time bomb, the longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. They go play action here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. So second and ten here. the gun it's Cutler able to get away and shedding through the tackle he's got a man wide open it's Landry and he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35 give him 30 yards there and speaking of Jarvis Landry have to get this note in six catches against the Raiders last week 344 now for his career and that passes Anquan Bolden for the most in a player's first four seasons in NFL history perfect comparison to Similar builds, similar playing styles, because both of them, when they catch the ball, they become running backs downfield, and people just bounce off them trying to tackle them. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line.
On second down, Cutler. The Fasano here brings it in. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Second down. No gain on that run. And while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Larry Ridley will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Now Cutler looking to throw. It's caught, Stills, right side. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. The Dolphins on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and six. From the shotgun, Cutler. And this is going to be incomplete. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in. But it is hard to adjust to a pass thrown a little bit behind you. That one was. All the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And Parkey's kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. Certainly their offense has sputtered here a little bit in the first half as they finally do get on the board, but they only have three. Well, at least it eases the frustration a bit, doesn't it? To be able to get some points on the board, feel a little bit better about themselves as they go into the locker room and try and regroup. now following the made field goal to kick this one off that'll be taken in the end zone and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line Cam Newton getting ready to go again on offense they've got the lead he's a big reason why looking sharp so far and as we travel around the league we see quarterbacks get it done in a variety of ways but today's NFL does tell us one thing if that guy doesn't play well, <laughs> their team's not going to win. And right now, he's got his team in the lead. And now they'll look to extend that lead. On first and ten, Newton. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. looking to avoid a third and long at second and ten. Hey, 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 hey. 
to throw again. Newton. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Ray Malaluga. Offensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head. Drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And a great spot to start this drive from here. the interception here's Cutler and it's caught and stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three a solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal and now we won't see a play on first down we're going to get a timeout instead as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. And the offense in a great spot. It's first and goal from the three. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Encroachment, the defense. An encroachment penalty here, maybe just a mental lapse, partner. Sometimes you have to just watch the football. Make sure it's snapped before you're jumping. First and goal, they'll look to smash it in. Maybe a quarterback sneak here. They'll run it with Williams. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. They'll come out in the pistol. Now Cutler to throw on second down. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. Definitely be a disappointment to come out of this starting position with just three points. They need to try to dial something up now, third and ten. Now Cutler. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. 
Devontae Parker as the first half is winding down. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Cody Parkey is on now for the point after. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. So that drive, four plays. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This is fielded at the goal line. Stewart on first. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now a timeout signal for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So the offensive unit called the TO, and now we are ready to resume play. First down to Shepard complete over the middle. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. Shot before the break. Newton. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. That'll bring up second down. This secondary has been roasted in this first half, and they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. On second and ten now. The final shot before break. Newton. He's going to go deep for Funches. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. 
as we send you down to Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. All right, Brandon, back to you guys in a minute. But first, it's indeed time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Right now, we've got a tie game, and that just means exciting football for us in the second half as we'll have two teams playing two quarters to decide a winner. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Second and two coming up. Johnson here will get to the QB for the sack. This will go as a loss of 10. We move late into the second. The pass ends up being picked off. Kyle Lugas is the one who makes the pick, halting the offense's drive. Offense out now following the interception. Cutler has got the completion here. Okay, thank you, Larry. A low-scoring affair all even as we ready for this second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. They start the second half here with Williams. Fighting through and he's got space. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. A big play that time for the Dolphins. 44 yards. So they had him bottled up, able to make a man miss, and then boom, off to the races. And it's how he made him miss. A little bit of strength, too. Had to work through contact to get him off of him. And then once he did that, now he put his agility to use and took off. Fresh set of downs here. Green, 39. They run it again with Williams. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. A loss of a full three yards. And now it's second down. Well, Parker, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you. And others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, Fool him a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool him on that play. Defense in a good spot. Let's see how the offense responds with a second and 13 now. Let's go. Now it's Cutler. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, and it's third down. But pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Play action. It's Cutler. 
The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. K1 Short in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. Now a play fake here on first down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. fake to Stewart. It's Newton. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. The tight end Ed Dixon was the target. And it's second down. to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. A little educational piece. I know a lot of people here, 3-4, three, 4-3, four, four, three, et cetera. Take us through the 4-3, Charles. Okay, 4-3. Four, four down defensive linemen, usually two defensive tackles, two defensive ends. Behind them, the three. are Those are the linebackers. The middle linebacker, often known as the Mike, with two outside linebackers, the Sam and the Will. There's your 4-3. Sam on the strong side, Will on the weak side. He's going to air one out. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. That's interference. Defense. Well, you won't hear any boos from this home crowd on that call. No, not at all. And it's been a long day for this crowd. Waiting for this game. It's been a long evening as well. Finally, they feel they got a call. The pigskin on the seven-yard line now. It's first and goal. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know. Defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. <laughs> to throw on second down is Newton. This will be caught at about the five. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. 
when you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now the Panthers get set third and goal. And the defense has to account for Cam Newton on this play. Throwing is Newton. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Gano now to add the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So the drive there took six plays, and Carolina scores to cap it off. Gano out to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Yeah, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. The busy night continues for Williams. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. That good for 22 and a first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Right, here we go. Green, 39. A handoff to the right side. It's Drake. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, as the defense rallies quickly after the nice move. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Set. Green, 39. Green, 39. They stay on the ground with Drake. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick, 
and shifty. Can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. They'll run it now, out of the gun. He's to the 10. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. And the offense inside the five here at the four. It's first and goal. They come out with one back and three tight ends. On first and goal, Drake. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. So the myth has been shattered. Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there and make plays exactly as we just saw there. A big loss suffered by the offense after that nice tackle. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Now they'll look to throw it with Cutler. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. This offense so far on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. They're looking at a third and goal here. Throwing here, Cutler. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Mario Adelson in there to get him for his second sack of the night. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Now Cody Parkey out to try the field goal. And Parkey's kick is good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. So three points is the outcome, but probably not what they're looking for given the drive that they were on. Yeah, things were looking good. You had it first and goal, but then the offense sputters a bit, and they're forced to settle for a field goal. now following the made field goal to kick this one off this is fielded a couple yards deep <laughs> it'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line Carolina getting set to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. down it's Newton and his throw is incomplete 
We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. Partner, we saw these Dolphins jump off sides a bunch last year. But that's not unusual for those guys like Sue who want to get that quick start into the offensive backfield, and they do make a lot of plays doing that. to Stewart and he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark it down at the 39 it's a gain of 11 yards that time and it produces a new set of downs and that's how you run the football and run it successfully big time chunk of yardage picked up but why offensive lineman won at the point of attack their leverage way better than the defenders the low man wins when you're getting underneath and trying to move people that's exactly what happened on that play the offensive line moved the defensive front created space and the end result a fantastic run they keep it on the ground again to Stewart and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it now because it's wide open. But other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy's going to keep getting the football, and that might be the direction that they're going to go right now. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. Got a man. It's the rookie, Curtis Samuel. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. The busy night continuing for Stewart. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The best defensive lineman. They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. This is Stewart again. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves them needing about seven here on third down. The Panthers on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and seven. Now it's Newton. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And he's brought down after a good game. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We've been together a little while now, partner. How often do we actually describe tight ends as nifty? 
because that's what I think of when I see Greg Olson on the field. His ability to run routes, create space and separation, and make those catches downfield. Yeah, sure consistent. The numbers the last couple years almost identical and both over 1,000 yard seasons. So now it's first and goal. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four. it in Stewart and he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown Jonathan Stewart taking it in and the Panthers add on to their lead well Brandon he just followed his nose and his nose took him to the end zone but how about the big guys up front giving them at least a stalemate in order to find that space yeah the O-line won the battle in the trenches there didn't it And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's capped off by a Jonathan Stewart run. Gano out to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Then the Dolphins getting set to go here. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. now Cutler on first down and fights him off and now running but he can't get away forever and down he goes K1 Shore bringing the pressure again and that is his third sack here tonight this has been a tough one for this offensive line it appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game the way they've been pushed around six sacks given up in this one Second down, here's Kotler. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. 
was a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? On third down, Cutler. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Two big plays in succession, and the Dolphins on the move. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Cutler. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. So second and medium, second and five now. Throwing again, it's Cutler. <laughs> Brought in over the middle by Grant. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Call it again is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. There's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. Throw again is Cutler. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. On second down, Williams. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. And while there is no gain on that run, we do know coaches whose identity is rooted in taking it almost to the limit and then changing things up on you down the stretch. I think we're getting really close to that point in time, though, where the identity may have to go out the window. They've got to go a little bit faster in order to try and win the game. From midfield now, here's Cutler. And he's got his man, that's Landry. And hello, he's going to be knocked backward as he'll be marked down at the 38-yard line. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Now Cutler on first down. Now Cutler in trouble. He lost the football.
and a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get it back, but he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. So after nearly turning it over, new life here for the offense on second down. From the gun, it's Cutler. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Now the offense lining up first and ten. From the shotgun, Cutler. He dumps it off to Drake. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. And that one results in 35 yards. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody has that ability, they want them on their team. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. All right, here we go. Three and 19. Three and 19. Ah! To throw, Cutler. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe a Dolphin got going a little early. offense. Second and goal here from the nine. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. This is the most important of them all. Third and goal. Now Cutler. And that is incomplete. The protection up front, very good on that play. Had all night to throw the football, even though he was unsuccessful. Now Cody Parkey out to try the field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Parkey's kick is good. 
And the drive will wind up yielding three. All right, so you needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal then maybe not exactly what they wanted, but it's a necessary first step. Still plenty of time remaining, but you could really use a stop defensively after the kickoff, preferably a three and out. now following the made field goal to kick this one off this fielded a few yards into the end zone and he won't return this one he'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25 Carolina getting set to take the field and for them a touchdown their last go around obviously they'll be hoping to do that again and when you start plotting for this drive when you start thinking to yourself okay what are we going to do you don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They go play action here on first down toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Ten yards still left on second down. Jonathan Stewart, his 20th carry, and he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Another run, this time McCaffrey. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Newton on first down. And he will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. So second and 10 here. This is Stewart. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. The Panthers on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This is third and seven. A shotgun snap for Newton. Going up top. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there. 61 yards. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Charles are not really any slow receivers, but there's fast and then really fast. He's really fast, and he showed off the afterburners there. And that he is because when he took off, 
guys think it is no chance that he can actually reach him with that pass yet he did and he's still sprinting and just think about what that does for everyone else on his team because his ability to stretch a field opens things up for the rest of the receivers on the team and the lead is up to 15 now So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. Gano out to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. They'll throw on first down with Cutler. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they march off another 15 against your squad. Here we go now. On first and ten, it's Cutler. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Now let's go. Blue lady. Blue lady. Now it's Cutler. On the left side, this is Stills. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That throw good for four. It's second down. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Now Cutler looking for the out route. It's completed to Landry. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. First down, it's Cutler. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. 
And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. You know the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first, it's good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Again, it's Cutler. They'll set up the screen to Gray. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And now a first down following that long game. Let's go. Three, let's go. Color to throw again. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. The intended receiver there, Kenyon Drake. And that'll bring up second down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow... Incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Now it's Cutler. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. They got to have six here. It's third and goal. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe a Dolphin got going a little early. offense. That was a third and somewhat manageable, now not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you got to start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. They got to have six here. It's third and goal. Throwing here, Cutler. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. Well, there have been a ton of sacks. They were just trying to prevent another. So what you're telling me is the conventional way has not really worked for them, huh? Not at all. Not at all. So he tries to grab him here, and they still get caught. They gotta have six here. It's third and goal. Let's go. Now Cutler looking to throw. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. Coverage was very good that time. A nice job to smother him as the ball arrived, and that ensured an incomplete pass. And it keeps six points off the board. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Panthers will get the football back. Well, they had 
to take one final shot at the end zone, but now things are looking really bleak. And I agree with that totally. You had to take the shot if they did score. You know, whether you call it a miracle or not, you line up, onside kick, get the ball back, throw one more in the end zone, who knows? Had to take the chance, it just was unsuccessful. Start the drive with a run by Stewart. And he'll get this one across the 20, but only up to about the 21. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So the offense now dealing with a second and seven. The handoff to Stewart running left. Now the Dolphins are going to take another timeout here. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. down. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Sticks. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field, they can't slow them down, they're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. They go back to Stewart on first. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee, and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Yeah. 
And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Panthers are winners here as we say so long from Charlotte.